back to my channel. I am so excited. This is like the most anticipated video of my own personal like preference of my videos. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so excited to be posting this video today because it is finally my office makeover video. I recently decided to get rid of my coral walls or peach walls and there were a few reasons. One being it just didn't work for lighting. Two, I just, we had our fun. So I decided it was time. You know how in Sex and the City when Carrie gets that Vivian Westwood dress and the dress ups the ante? That's how I feel about my new mirror. And my mirror upped the ante and it is what it is. So I'm gonna take you guys along in the process of me redecorating this room and it was so, so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Honestly, like I feel like I manifested my mirror into this space because I have had it pinned on my Pinterest since late 2018 and I tweeted about or no, I Instagram storied it in 2019. Here's a picture and it's now mine, which is so exciting. <sighs> I'm that's a whole nother story. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure you stick around by subscribing. And until next time, I will talk to you all later. So I think it's time to tell you guys I'm getting rid of the peach walls. Oh my god. I have had these peach walls ever since we bought this house. I painted the color like instantly. Then quarantine hit and I was like, I'm going to paint the ceiling and just run with it. And it's really funny because initially the vibe that I was going for was like, this and you know i had fun with the color but i started doing tiktoks and stuff in the beginning of the pandemic and i quickly realized that the lighting in this room did not work well with the color of the walls which sucks because i mean i love the color of the walls but just is not good for filming like I have to change the settings and all that stuff to make it look semi-decent on here. And as much as I enjoyed having a colorful moment, I think it's it's time to just go back to what I know, which is white walls. But before you get upset, please know that the colors are staying. Like, hello, I have so many colors. This room is not gonna look the same at all in like a week and I'm getting so many new things that I was like, we might as well just make this into a makeover, you know? So I guess I should show you what the room looks like before so we can get a good before image. So here's what's happening. Obviously this room is messy. <laughs> Duh. I'm going to paint the walls white. I'm getting a new mirror. We're saying goodbye to this one. I need to post it on Facebook Marketplace, but the mirror that I have coming would make it very, very peach in here. Another thing we're going to be replacing is I want to get a ceiling medallion here. I want to potentially make this entire thing curtains because this door we don't use at all ever. In fact, I wish I could get rid of it but we won't but i feel like if i made this entire thing just like curtains it would look a lot better and just a little bit more put together as you can see the lighting it looks so much better on camera right at this very second than it does in real life because you cannot it picks up very brown i have all the samples here of paint i already am eliminating swiss coffee that is just gray I feel like it's going to be between ultra and sleek white, right? <sighs> the mirror's gone. Saturday and I've decided I now that I've sold my mirror I, I'm going to paint because that just seems like a fun thing to do it's a rainy day and I was like can't shoot so might as well paint and I almost feel like every paint color in my YouTube career is like Taylor Swift eras you know country reputation I'm 
I don't know what they're called after that. You know what I'm trying to say. We're gonna paint this bitch. Hear me out. It costs like 50 bucks total to paint a room, so like why the hell not? Especially if it makes fun content and I get a completely new space out of it. Well, let's freaking go. We have the paint. It is Bare Ultra Scuff Defense. I wanted to get the Bare Marquee, but sponsor me again. But it was $40 and I paid for this myself, so I, I opted for the cheaper, to be completely honest. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start painting. <laughs> Should we meet again? This thing is only $10, so at Home Depot, highly recommend. Like, look at how warm this color looks right now. It's white but because of the peachy glow of my room, it literally looks peach. So that's like the problem. That's that's why we're changing things. Um, so here is the, is it the inaugural? Is that the right word? Probably not. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God. This is just proving why I'm painting my walls. Oh God, goodbye. If you need the perfect white color, listen no further because Bear Sleek White is now my favorite white color. We did Sherwin Williams Ultra White, I think, downstairs or something like that, or like pure white. I don't remember what it was called. Just go back and watch one of my vlogs. And it's actually kind of bluish, and now I'm starting to realize that I like warmer whites, and this Sleek White is just perfect bare sleek white don't make the mistake that apparently the guy working at home depot made when i was painting the second coat i had to go back and buy another gallon and he mixed together sherwin williams sleek white because they can do like a color match and i brought it home and sleek white from sherwin williams is like very different so that was unfortunate so i'm trying not to be so hard on myself about this but it's kind of hard for me not to and i am currently very frustrated with myself because i cannot seem to find the memory card that has my hanging of the curtains on and i'm frustrated about it no i recorded something so my guess is i either lost the memory card because look i have four here and i have one in my camera and it's not on any of these so i probably accidentally deleted the footage or i just completely lost the memory card which i don't think i have that many other memory cards other than this so i'm very upset about that so i'm going to walk you guys through i mean i wasn't even the one that hung these curtains in the first place but as I discussed earlier, something I wanted to do was I wanted to get wraparound kind of track system when it came to curtains. And I actually purchased this, I think I ordered this track system from Ikea. It was like a pack, like a corner unit pack, and then I had purchased an additional track. I did not realize when I purchased them that the curtains that you need are basically from Ikea and I didn't want to purchase the wrong type of curtain. Like, I wanted to see what it looked like in person. So next time I go to an Ikea, I will be purchasing the actual curtains that you need for a track system because I ended up doing something really like kind of janky it works like i'm not in any rush like it's fine but i will eventually replace it with like what it's supposed to look like so the curtains i currently have are from amazon i really like these honestly if you are on the market for some semi sheer linen looking not like bluish white curtains these ones i will link in the description box from amazon are chef's kiss i guess i'll pan up and you guys can see what i'm talking about but it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look good either i don't know i didn't know you could buy like a track system like this pretty much anywhere um so i kind of 
regret buying it from Ikea because it's actually kind of falling down in the corner. It is what it is, uh, but I love the way it turned out. So I will show you guys the way it turned out. So you can see that these are not the best curtains for this type of system, but it got the job done for a temporary fix. I go home in April to Cincinnati and I will be buying the correct type of curtains for this then, but as you can see, it has like this little hook thing and I actually hired a TaskRabbit. I've never used TaskRabbit before, but it worked great. He kind of, it took him a while to figure this out because apparently it's a lot more difficult than, well, actually that's a lot. Most Ikea things are pretty terrible. That's the drapery hook I was talking about. Um, yeah, it just kind of hooks up on there. It's not the best thing, but you guys, these curtains, like, do you see that? They're semi-sheer. Big, big fan of those. Honestly, I could have stopped at this and I would have instantly been way more obsessed with my room as is, but we decided to continue to renovate. But I I think I love this. I love it when it's completely closed. I just have it partially open right now for um, lighting purposes, but makes the space look kind of like a studio, which I love. Obviously, it's going to look way better whenever I have the proper curtains, like I said, but as you can see it looks a lot better hiding those two doors i'm so happy with it and the best part is is this first curtain ends kind of like at the perfect spot so i can easily access that door um i will let you guys know the exact things i purchased for these this track system although i don't really recommend it um but i think that looks no. great i have no idea how I'm supposed to hang a ceiling medallion, but I figured it'd be fun to figure it out because uh, you guys might not know how to hang it. And we can just kind of figure it out together, right? That sounds so much fun, Sarah. But it'd be really cool if I knew where I put said ceiling medallion. Behold, the ceiling medallion. I should probably not be painting this on a box right next to my expensive ass carpet, but you know, like freaking YOLO. I like to live life on the edge. So that's what we're we're gonna do. So I have the ceiling medallion here. I hope this will fit. Cause that would be a waste of my time if it doesn't. I ordered this on Amazon, of course, cause that's where I order a lot of my stuff. And the best part is, is when you buy on Amazon, you have the option to buy it used. And that's usually what I do. So this was used, lightly used. I don't know how. I think it was just out of its normal packaging and I saved like 10 bucks. Fun fact, that's what I did with the hall, or not the hallway, the um, the light in the powder room. There we go, we're getting closer. Voila! Okay. ASMR. Zoom this bitch in. Okay. Paint. Paint brush. Paint brush is a little hard, but that's okay. Let's paint this bitch. Deep, deep, deep. Oh my god, I look like Ferris Bueller right now. That's not okay. Wall medallion check, we finished it. Um, now I'm just gonna let the paint dry, be horrified by my bangs. And then I'm going to figure out how to hang it. I don't know how I'm supposed to. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like glue it and then also nail it. But I think since it's so small, I might be able to just glue it. But I mean, this is like the last bit that I need for this office and then we're pretty much, excuse me, done, which is really exciting. Okay, we're gonna hang the ceiling medallion. Talking to my vlog. So hanging this actually ended up being a little bit difficult of a task, but since it was like the same size as the little hole, we decided to just kind of glue it up there because we read online if it's a, such a small ceiling medallion, it's completely fine. So that's what we ended up doing. I know it's like not recommended. And also if you know, Ikea shit is so annoying to take down. So we were like, we'll just figure this out. It doesn't look perfect, but I truly do not care. So that's what we did, Gorilla Glue. We love to see it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, not gonna do, we're not gonna zoom in to right there because that would reveal too much but overall it's up who gives a shit not me 
I'm just thrilled that it's up finally. So, ceiling medallion check, we're good. Good morning, I just got the call. The call from the delivery people telling me that they will be here in 20 minutes. So I'm so excited, oh my God. So here's a little update. We have the mirror and it's just covered in tarp because it's in a crate and it's fucking heavy and we need movers to come move it. So it's just chilling in our front yard as one does. So we finally found someone who is going to come move the mirror from outside inside, which is exciting because um, it's fucking raining. You know, that's probably not good for this exact mirror for reasons I will be showing you. That being said, I need to go get cash because a lot of people online will only do things like this for like a hundred bucks with cash because it's not like, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's like a tax thing. I don't, I don't really know. We hate to see it. Hope it's okay. Now let's talk about the mirror. So I ordered this mirror, I think late December and it took until around St. Patrick's Day for it to be delivered, which is a really long time, but it is what it is. It was being imported. Um, I purchased it on Etsy. It was not cheap. This is something that I knew I would keep around in my house for a very, very long time. As you guys know, I love certain pieces of furniture that truly bring me joy is a lot of vintage pieces and vintage inspired pieces. This is actually a vintage inspired this brand. I'm gonna put it on the screen so I don't butcher it. And I purchased it on Etsy. Do I recommend it? No. To be completely transparent, when I purchased this mirror, it was listed as a that brand mirror and I think it's Ultra Fragola or something like that. And the only problem was is they didn't have like the sticker to prove that it was authentic and there were only two. And I was like, oh my God, like that's, that's fine. Like I don't need that because this is something that I want in my home forever. The person I bought it from showed that it was based in Brooklyn. So that's why I thought this was like a legit thing. And I ended up realizing that it was being shipped from China. So I was like, okay, that's weird. Then a few weeks after I purchased it, I noticed the seller relisted it but basically saying that it was a dupe and not a real thing and that she had like eight of them did i just get duped so i ended up messaging the seller and again i'm not gonna list the person because this is like i obviously don't recommend and i messaged the seller and i was like what the fuck well i didn't actually say that obviously but i was like hey like I purchased this thinking it was questionable, but like likely, but then you end up basically saying that, no, it's a dupe on the post. And she's like, yeah, I realized like the legality of that. So I changed it because I knew it was technically fake. And I was like, that's kind of false advertising because you told me, or when I purchased it, it was listed as just like, unsure like you know and so she actually ended up giving me i don't know even know if it's a she but the seller actually ended up giving me a partial refund but it just sucks that sellers are like that i personally thought i was getting like a legit deal because somebody found it at an estate sale which is what they claimed um and just wasn't sure of the authenticity and i was like well if they found it at an estate sale in the united states odds are it's probably real but that was a lie so i wanted to be transparent with that story that's the story of the mirror really kind of peeved by it but it is what it is um it's here now but i'm really really happy with my purchase minus the fact that i was duped kind of but that's the drama of the mirror but we love her and i'm really happy she's here now and i'm obsessed Okay, so now I need to finish off the office by hanging the pictures that I've been meaning to hang ever since I repainted this room. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with doing that now.
Hi, this is actually turning out to be a lot more difficult than I expected. Fuck. Okay, after a brief intermission, we are back. Wish me luck. I'm destroying this wall. And now for the grand reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is my favorite part, honestly. Like I just decided to do this today and it turned out perfect. And then we've got another moment over here with my beautiful mirror. I'm obsessed with it and my little boots. Oh, they're so cute. I've got this DIY that I did. I've got an Instagram video about that. I've got my plant, which everyone's gonna tell me to keep this thing alive, to water it, but like, I honestly think it's overwatered. So there's that. I've got my light with the ceiling medallion, which did not hang quite as effectively as we thought because this is an old house and old houses have uneven everything. So there's that. Over here is my new collage wall which I think is really, really great. It's all from Framebridge. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another order on Framebridge and I'm going to get one more of this burl wood frame, kind of smaller and put it like maybe right here. And then I'm gonna get another one of these thinner ones and put something right here. And that's how that will look once it's complete. I like it because this is so minimal for me that I needed something that was like, hello, I am here. So over here we have my Cardiel seat that I got a while, or this is a chair, a chair and an ottoman. I got this in the fall. I still have the same Ikea lamp. The curtains look so good to hide the, the doors. And then I've got my vanity over here. We're just gonna forgive me for that. My Etsy rug, I bought this last year before they spiked up the crazy prices. And I'm so glad I did that because checkers in. I thought I was being unique, but turns out I wasn't. Overall, exciting. I also killed the plant that once hung here, so rest in peace. But I'm sure I'll add other stuff, but for now, this is- So that up. is my new office. I'm obsessed with it. Honestly, like let's, ooh, we got some pink glow now. Ugh, I'm obsessed with this mirror. And I'm also obsessed with turning it on and off and off. Okay, we're keeping it on. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure you stick around by subscribing. And until next time, I will talk to you all later.